development goal is one of the biggest problems in our society. This roots to other problems such as hunger and malnutrition. I believe in achieving this goal, we can create a community that is sustainable, progressive, and livable. And if all people will contribute in achieving this goal, we can ensure that we are not wasting our time, energy, and effort in solving problems that people made in the first place. Let's make a change and start within ourselves because minor changes can make a big impact, not just in the present, but for the future generations as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rosas Wine. I hope you all achieve no poverty in the future. Now let's go in Rosas 11 from Market Area Giant of Pia. She's a red rose. I know, gorgeous rose. Beautiful. Right. Please Rosas pick a 11, yes, pick a number, please. So she got picture number five. Gender equality promotes equal, equal, um, equal opportunity to everyone. Gender equality doesn't aim to make women stronger. Doesn't make to doesn't aim to make men more stronger, and doesn't make. LGBTQIA plus community down. The main goal of gender equality is to change the society's per perspective in everyone on our street. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rosas 11. Now let's have Rosas 16. Sufimia Malabara from Alitni. That is true. It doesn't make us stronger. We are all equal, but it actually strengthens us. That's gender equality. Hello. Please pick a number. This is lucky number seven. Mm, let's see what it is that. Affordable and clean energy. Go ahead. Having an affordable and clean energy is one of the major issues that Philippines, that we Filipinos are facing right now. And for me, it is essential for us to educate our, ourselves first on the first hand and then know how to love one another and then know how to love our mother earth so that it can love us back and then that we should make a change and that change should start from within and if we are able to do that we can make a resilient society we can make a positive community and let us all remember that we should work hand in hand together in making this place not just a better place but a best place to live in thank you, thank you very much rosas 16. Yeah, yes indeed now let's go in rosa 17 rian roma from Makagli. hello Please pick a number. All right, let me see. You pick number. Oh, number 12. Responsible consumption and production. This SDG promotes wise decision in purchasing and to contribute and consideration our environment. During pandemic, we experienced mass buying. And I think if I could teach people to become more mindful to their action. We should have pose tea before purchasing so that those things are not wasted. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rosa17 from Makabli. We're actually down the, from our first half. Yes, first half, and we have heard a lot of great ideas there. Okay, we now move on to our next Rosa. Let's move on to Rosa12. Jen Granada from La Paz. Good luck. Here we go now. Pick your number, please. Hello, Jen. Pick a number. This is picture number four. All right. Picture number four. Quality education. I believe that quality education is really important to empower us youth because 
quality education is what makes us confident. And the third world countries lack quality education, and if we can implement laws and policies to give them quality educators and facilities, then we can create a better place for us youth. And I believe that our efforts for quality education would not be possible without the efforts of every individual in our society. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rosas 12. Now let's move on to Rosas 9, Claire Mojica from Malusa. All very smart, all very insightful. Hello there, please pick a number. Alright, she picked my favorite number, number 8. Decent work and economic growth. Your thoughts? I think, I think that is also one of the goals of the United Nations. The decent work and economic growth. The problem is, we have this issue when it comes to unemployment. And the solution for that is for the governments to create an equal opportunities for the people and for their jobs. And I believe that this goal can only be achieved if we are all united into creating and to be to have this possible goal. And once we are all committed to create a life that has this goal, we can now create a better future for the generations to live in and for the generations ahead of us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our Rosas 9. Now let's move on to Rosas 14, Marniel Marquez from Nagapo. I love hearing her of the youth, no? Yeah, and yeah. this color actually compliments her also. Hi. Alright, pick a number. Wow, favorite number, number three. Good health and well-being. This SDG. Number three, good health and well-being is so important because it focuses on the improvement of our health systems and it invests in good access to medication and vaccinations for the people. And so I want to encourage everyone here to also take action with me and to prioritize your own health, both physically and mentally, because with our health, we can savor the joys of our existence. Hand in hand with the United Nations, let us all take a role in fulfilling these SDGs and make actionable plans to create a better planet one step at a time. Thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you, Rosas 14 of our Neal Marquez from Nagapo. And now, CJ, we're down to our last finalist. Yes, we have Rosas 6. Rowena Rudella from Kaigen. Good luck to you. Pick a number, please. Thank you, Jasper, for assisting us tonight. Okay, so she picked number 13. And that is climate action. Your thoughts? We know that climate change is our problem today. So we have to have an action by having a global Global, global action that reduces greenhouse gases. So I will encourage everyone to join campaign for climate action. So, so we have a better place to live in. Thank you. All right, Thank there you, you have it. Thank you so much, Rosa's number six. six. Wow, great ideas. Great from... ideas. Yes. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, your top eight finalists for this part of the competition.